Right, and we're back and straight away into some action here, but uh, it's going to be action of a different kind here because today we have Cloak and Dagger <laughs> coming in as a solo unit today uh, versus uh, the team here, Raptors. Uh, so, uh, Kronzi, I mean, like, how do you think this is going to fare? I have seen 1v2s, 1v3s. I've seen 1v5s before. I mean, anything is possible, but what do you think about this? <laughs> Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna take a lot of skill for for this one to work out for them. So what has happened is their team out unfortunately has been unable to get back into the game. So we're letting them do a one v two to see if they can uh, see if they can pull it off, and uh, it's definitely gonna be interesting. For reference, what we're gonna be looking at here, obviously you can see the arrow in the top left, Hornet in the top right, and Saber in the bottom right. I would not want to be Cloak and Dagger right now. <laughs> An arrow versus Hornet and Saber. David versus two Goliaths, I think, this time around. We've got Dawn Phantom <laughs> from Cloak and Dagger versus Adam Bomb and Swiss Chris from Raptors. Uh, we've got Switzerland versus the USA right here. And we're about to get things started very soon, Crotzy. In five. Yeah, I mean, four, look, if they're able. Three. I just Two, I want them to one. like at least get one of the Yo. ships. And I All right, Godspeed, Dawn Phantom. <laughs> Show us what you got <laughs> in your anvil arrow. <laughs> I I think my voice is going to die by the end of today. I feel like I'm saying go too loud now, Maya. Uh, I mean, like, that was the Stanton 7 all over again, to be fair. I mean, like, uh, you know, yeah. it's just, there's a certain level of hype you have to keep up. And these are long streams. So, uh, so yeah, I'm, I don't envy your position is all I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So for reference, whoever does win out of this match between Cloak and Dagger and Raptors will be versing Gooby Woobies in round number two, who we did not get to see compete yet as they ended up with a round one buy. So uh, yet to see what their performance is like as the competitors make their way on in. And here comes the fire. What are we, five, ten seconds? What do we reckon? What's gonna happen? Well, I mean, it's already been five seconds that Arrow zipped on through the pair. Um, they have yet to actually fire upon them. Instead, they're trying to, I don't know, uh, just to, to draw the fire. There it goes. There's that first pass. And will they even survive one pass? They do! Miraculously, we can't see their, uh, their HP here on the top left, but, uh, but it, so far, I mean, they're putting up a fight. Yeah, the shields are shields going are down. down. They are getting shot right now, but... They've lasted longer than I expected, so already an absolutely amazing performance from Cloud and Dagger. <laughs> well done, Dawn Very Phantom. Let's see if you can pull out. Let's see if you can get an elimination. We believe in you. Oh, we'll see. I mean, like, uh, you can see uh, Adam Bomb's shields there aren't really uh, any worse for wear, and they're the main target here. I think they went almost to 75%, but they're still looking strong. You know, like uh, that arrow, on the other hand, is taking a bit of a beating. Those shields are down. They have been, but the, the uh, hull integrity is still above 75%, still in the green, but not for long. Yeah, these are some big shots coming in here. Down go the shields. Already back at it, though. This is, this is impressive. <laughs> the amount of kiting that we're seeing here, splitting these two competitors up, and then just at the sign of danger, they're out. They're gone. It's very <laughs> impressive that they're able to get this much maneuverability in the arrow, in atmosphere, versing these two ships. This is really impressive. I am adoring their power management as well, being able to keep on top of all that while having two ships hammer at you right now. You can see the Hornet shields are down. Admiral Bomb shields are down. This arrow is doing some work. It's taking some <laughs> damage. Shields are back up, and they're just going back and forth here, dropping that chaff, dropping those targets, and they're actually... Guys, I think they're doing it. I don't know what they're doing, but they're doing it. It is happening. <laughs> Look, it is still a massively uphill battle, but the fact that they've lasted this long, the fact that they've been able to take down the shields on the Hornet a few times, the, literally anything could happen. I fail to see how they actually would have lost the 2v2 at this stage. This would have been an absolutely amazing match to watch because it already is, and it's a 1v2. That's right. I mean, like, if Hater was here with their Buccaneer, I think this, was a, this would have been over a long time ago. But uh, I think, sadly, this time around, they had a bit too much cloak there with Cloak and Dagger. Uh, that being said, here they are. They're making another push. Their shields are down. This is very risky, especially when going against uh, Panther. With, or I guess, like, you know, a ship with so many... With, with Panthers. Uh, Sorry, Rain. Well, is that there it? we go. 
Ah, oh, man. It looks like that is a stuffed death to Arrow, but an unbelievably fantastic job there from Cloak and Dagger. You yeah, probably just tried. got respect from the entire Star Citizen community for that. That was really, <laughs> really impressive. In five, four, three, two, one, go! All right, and they're off. Now, what's going to happen this time around? Because before, the only target that, uh, that uh, Brappers, uh, Braptors had was the arrow. This time around, I mean, like, uh, there's a buccaneer in play as well. And in fact, the arrow has not moved. The arrow, the arrow is just sitting there. Are, are, are they doing another <laughs> another 1v2 by proxy? Or what's sure, going sure. on it, here? It, it... It could be just a bit of, a bit of lag from uh, from the video feeds, possibly, but okay. we'll we'll see what happens. Hopefully, everything will be okay here. Um, once again, this is going to be a bit of an uphill battle. They are they they are playing against what is essentially the meta build of this tournament so far, from what we've found. Right, in some very That's unusual right. vehicles, the Arrow and the Buccaneer. The Buccaneer does have a Revenant on it, but so does the Hornet. So, you know, there's, there's not a lot of uh, of room to make up there. That's right. The Buccaneer, when it comes to structure, I mean, like, uh, it, it's not as forgiving, you know? Like, the second that Buccaneer loses, like, a single maneuvering thruster, the entire day is over, especially for atmosphere. But here we go. There's Swiss Chris laying down fire here. Yes. They're, they're definitely start, they're seeming to target the arrow from what we can tell. Once again, the, the top left screen seems to be a little bit lagged, guys, so... Uh, uh, try, try to focus on everyone else at the moment. Uh, it looks like we've actually got a restricted area message there. Maybe uh -oh. don't fly that close to the ground. You don't yeah. want to end your Maybe. tournament with a restricted area uh, impounding. Yeah, let's not end this tournament in tears. Not after so this uh, coming along this far. Still, it looks like all four contestants are still up and are running. We can see that Braptors there in their horn has taken some damage. Shields are down. That left wing isn't looking so hot. But uh, otherwise, I mean, like, it looks like they're just dancing around each other at the moment here. Arrow is getting some serious fire on it, too. But uh, again, it looks like for the most part, everybody's doing uh, a, a good job just staying alive here. Yeah, very much so. Hornet's shields are down. The Buccaneer and the Arrow, they're keeping out of the way. Uh, that's all you really need to do, essentially. If you can just sort of pick at the Hornet and get that down as you're doing these strafing runs, that's going to put you ahead, obviously. The Buccaneer does have some damage in the center. I'm not that's sure, right. but I feel like we may have just seen an explosion. The Sabre taking a lot of damage, but that Buccaneer is not long for this world. They're going to have to unload on it to get it out. We haven't heard it pop off yet, but they have changed targets, so I think maybe perhaps the Buccaneer did in fact soft death. That Swiss Chris here in, in the Sabre is now moving on into Oh, in fact, that's the Buccaneer again. I think that with the chaffs uh, popping up every now and then, it's doing a great job to help drop the targets here and keep these guys in their less survivable ships up and running. And oh, there we go, there's a saber down! <laughs> well... And now it's 2v1. <laughs> that changes things. That certainly changes things. We now have Buccaneer and Arrow versus Hornet. What just... Is that the Buccaneer? The Buccaneer's down. Buccaneer is down. We are at Hornet v. Arrow, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my god. There's that Buccaneer crashing down. Thank you so much there, Hater, for that cinematic shot of that soft death uh, uh, Buccaneer going straight down to Atmo. But here, uh, here it is, and it's back in the hands again of Cloak and Dagger's Dawn Phantom in their Arrow going toe-to-toe -to -toe here against Braptors in their in Adam Bomb's uh, Hornet. Yeah, watch, watch from, from Braptor's perspective. Every single time Braptor's is able to actually get the uh, the pip onto the arrow, the arrow is gone. It is way out of there. And we've been watching these shields on this Hornet are coming back very slowly. So lots of uh, the maneuverability of this, of this uh, player in this arrow has been just astounding. Dawn Phantom is literally dancing around this Hornet with their arrow right now. The Hornet's having the hardest time just keeping target here. Uh, you know, like, uh, they're using great usage of both the boost, but also the brakes. The second the Hornet turns around, they've already started breaking hard and moving into the other direction and just staying in their six the entire time. Their shield is still up, though. Survivability isn't looking uh, too bad for the Hornet here. 
Um, it does seem as if maybe the arrow is going to have to play it a bit more risky if they want to get any damage in here that's going to matter. Well, yeah, it's certainly a case of the arrow has just been able to consistently stop their shields from regenerating, whereas the Hornets had a lot of problems, you know, getting back into the groove of things, getting back onto target. The arrow is just all over the place. So this is showing a little bit, you know, with enough player skill, these arrows can take down these Hornets. But the second those shields go down on that arrow, if they're able to get any amount of damage on there, it's going to be a significantly better uh, uh, situation for them. That's right. I mean, again, uh, these arrows can and will do damage. Both shields are down. The arrow does have the, uh, of course, their shields coming up faster. You do have to make sure that once those shields are down, you do land a hit every now and then. Otherwise, those shields re will regenerate after a set amount of time. They had them for a second, but the arrow has to make sure, has to make sure that they're not like in front of that, uh, that Hornet. If, if the Hornet has a good vector for long enough, that's it. The Hornet has such high damage output. But uh, again, they also have those revenants, and once those drain, which uh, I think they have just about to, ooh. Uh, then ooh, they only have 57 more shots of the ballistics. Once that's over, then the damage output there of the Hornet is going to significantly reduce. Yeah, exactly. If they can get the Hornet pilot to come... Well, there it goes. Ballistics are gone. No more Revenant Gatling. We are now at the Triple Panthers. That's all they've got to take this home. And I don't know if that's going to be enough. I mean, the arrow hasn't applied much damage to the actual hull of the Hornet yet, but if if it keeps going this way, we're probably just going to see a slow death of this Hornet player. That's right. Maybe we could ha see the perspective here of the arrow pilot and how they're flying and how they are outmaneuvering this Hornet so far. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, so far, I mean, like, the arrow's done a phenomenal job here, just being able to stay away from pointy end as it were and they're doing okay <laughs> i mean again those those uh, shields are back down again in the hornet and with the revenants gone now they can be a bit more risky here uh they can now start uh you know putting more damage through that uh past the uh, shield stage here of the hornet a bit of a longer fight but uh, if cloak and dagger do uh you know keep it up they'll have this fight yeah we're, we're seeing a perfect example of why it's going to be really fun to actually see master modes uh, come in uh, uh, eventually, as we're seeing a lot of jousting coming from the arrow. And that just is their strategy right now. It's the only way that they can sort of survive while applying enough pressure to this Hornet, who their shields have been down for like 80% of this fight. Right. It is a very interesting testament, though, between like, you know, the light fighter that is the uh, the arrow versus like, this, uh, this, I guess, where well, you could just class a fighter, right? This medium fighter, this Hornet. It's not quite an F7C, but as you can see, I mean, like, even here, it's it's evident when it comes down to, like, just how uh, Cloak and Dagger are handling this ship, that, like, they know how this arrow works. The, uh, the Hornet uh, just... It's a scary ship to fight against, regardless of how good you are, because it, it, all it takes is one mistake, and uh, you're out of the game. Yeah, definitely. Look, someone is going to have to make a move soon, they are doing a very good job of staying very far away from each other in a lot of these bouts. Someone has right. to become the aggressor at some point, and I think it has to be the arrow, but I don't know. It's This This is a rough fight. The, the arrow can't afford to be within the line of fire for any longer than a few seconds. That's right. I mean, try as they might, the Hornet is trying as hard as they can to be that aggressive that we all need here in this fight. But, uh, but yeah, arrow right now still playing very smart. Now, Big damage I would love there on to... the Hornet, actually. It looks like the, the, oh. the back underneath the rocket, uh, uh, like underneath the engine, we're actually seeing a lot of red damage there. So they were able to get some sustained damage on the Hornet. The arrow, as far as I believe, still pretty much untouched other than shields. That's right. I mean, when it comes down to damage in Star Citizen, eventually, you know, once we get like physicalized damage, things will change even more significantly. But, you know, if you target the subsystems there, get those engines, take it out, then you've won. Uh, all you have to do is just focus on that uh, that one component. But uh, yeah, it's, it's it's looking real good right now. We're just seeing some textbook uh, fighting here from this arrow. Yeah, definitely. I, this, is, this is by far the longest fight we've had today. And it has come down to this 1v1. It just sort of, it takes us back. Imagine if the Buccaneer was able to survive that little bit longer and, and, and apply that extra pressure while the Hornet is trying to mess around with this arrow. It's it, this is really the reason why this is a team's game is because 100%. even with an arrow and buccaneer, there are strategies that you can bring. And if you have the skills, you can take down these larger ships. 
I agree 100% and uh, we have uh, people in chat here going for Cloak and Dagger, going for this arrow, going for Dawn Phantom, who's doing some tight work. Um, but uh, yeah, I think it's it's almost a foregone conclusion here for the arrow at this point. Um, it's just going to take a little bit longer. They, they have to be safe. It's not like the Hornet isn't getting hits in. You know, whenever the Hornet does have a good bearing on this arrow, they are getting, they are shooting this thing, they are hitting it. So they, 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 they can't just, you know, like come in there for the kill as it were. Both contestants do I, have I to worry for I, two things. I don't know though, if I Fonzie. necessarily agree. The the arrow does not have as, as much liberties as the Hornet does to make mistakes here. If, right. if the arrow player makes any mistakes here and the Hornet is able to capitalize, the arrow is down almost immediately. Um, we can see we're actually getting some movement back in towards the center of the arena as because this fight's been going on so long, going to out of bounds has become a real possible risk, right? So. They need That's to make right. sure they reorient themselves. You don't want to get eliminated here for going out of bounds, especially especially not fight. now. Exactly at this critical juncture of the fight, we've gone on for so long here. You can see that the uh, the Hornet there has sustained a little bit more damage. The canopy is now in the red as well. The engines are in the red. I believe red means that you're below 25% hull integrity. It doesn't take much more. And within the current state of the game, all it takes is for one of those components alone to go to zero for you to just pop with the soft death. So uh, we'll see. So far, so good. There's the 890. We're now bang in the center of the map here. There's no chance of going out of bounds right now. But I just I'm can't this believe arrow. how little damage the arrow has taken during all of these bouts. That seems incredibly insane. It's almost like the second that they've dropped shields, they're on the other side of the arena. It, it's it's very mean, impressive. It is great emission control. It's great power control by the arrow as well. Whenever they do turn around, they drop that shaft. They, so they drop the uh, the pip um, that is uh, that the Hornet is so desperately trying to hold onto here. Makes you wonder how things will happen in the future once cross-section comes into play a little bit more. Uh, you know, when you can hide behind things properly and use those smoke screens as a screen without being inside them. Uh, but, uh, but so far, I mean, like... Uh, <laughs> You know, like uh, this arrow, uh, Dawn Phantom is making the most of all the tools that are available to them right now. Yeah, definitely. I mean, look at the Hornet. We are more progressively seeing those red uh, highlights pop up on that health screen over and over and over again. It's only a matter of time before one of those goes kablooey. And uh, at, at this stage, I think this Hornet player is the one to do it. I am really excited for Cloak and Dagger. Right. Uh, they've been danger close to the ground, sadly, with R Corp at the moment with this current build of like, you know, Planet V4, I believe it is like you can't get too close. <laughs> Otherwise, in certain areas, you can uh, unfortunately, you know, come to a grisly end here. But uh, but yeah, sadly, it looks like Atom Bomb is uh, is kind of, uh, you know, in the receiving end of this encounter. And what is happening there on their screen with anyway, uh, <laughs> on the receiving <laughs> end of uh, this uh, this dogfight here. But uh, but we'll see how it goes, guys. Damn, this is <laughs> I'm kind of at a loss for words because there's just it, it, it's it really is just a game of attrition now. It's. Just keep repeating this over and over. Eventually, you're going to get the Horner player, unless the Horner player is able to come up with some sort of strategy to punish these jousts. You would be surprised, though. Like, uh, this, uh, the second this arrow were to just s stay put, I believe that the arrow would be gone in about five seconds flat of just, like, you know, just repeated yeah. <laughs> fire without the revenants as well. Like, I mean, uh, that's exactly what we've seen in a lot of other fights, just yeah, not 100%. with Cloak and Dagger. That's, that's the thing, right? The, this arrow pilot knows what they're doing yeah i mean like it's not necessarily even adam, adam bomb's fault because in atmosphere in a ship like the hornet i mean i, I feel like the hornet's kind of designed for space you know it's a bit blocky a bit bricky <laughs> yeah just not able Makes to get the sustained mm. fire on the arrow that they need they, they, just, they yeah. just can't they're getting maybe two to three shots in it's it's doing a fair amount right like it's it's getting close to taking the shields down every time but then the arrow's gone the arrow is gone, it's That's out, right. and it was able to get your shields down, and it was able to hit your hull a couple of times. That's all it needs to do. 
That's right. Someone in the chat says this is a tickle fight. It really is. However, how many tickles is it going to take till you break a rib? You know what I mean? It's going <laughs> to this is a war of attrition <laughs> after all. But uh, but yeah, I mean, we've seen those shields drop a couple times here from Raptors and Adam Bomb. I mean, like, you know, that that whole integrity just keeps dropping. Those wings, surprisingly, are still fresh, though. I mean, like, uh, you know, we haven't really yeah. seen much damage there. The damage has been pretty centralized here by, uh, like, uh, Dawn Phantom's uh, arrow. But uh, it'll be over soon! <laughs> it, is, it is very likely that they're trying to aim for specific parts of the ship, but regardless, yeah. uh, they're hitting important parts. So <laughs> uh, it's it's definitely not in, in a great way for, for Atom Bomb here. Ooh. Looks like there is now some damage on the arrow, though, right in the center there. That's right. I mean, making that arrow this, blush. this attrition <laughs> fight might be not going their way anymore. No, I mean, again, all it takes is one poor pass, and then all of a sudden, you're just as red as the Hornet you've been working on. And that's just, I guess, uh, the way it goes at the moment when it comes to these builds, and that's why this is a team fight, and that's why you don't pair up uh, the same ship. You're not allowed to. Um, it's so you can have this uh, asymmetrical uh, gameplay. And uh, right now, you know, like, the Hornet does have the upper hand. Uh, but still, I mean, like, damage-wise, they have made that arrow blush. But at the same time, hey, yeah. like, uh, the arrow has been doing tight work. I feel like right now, though, it is anybody's game. I really hope... I, I don't know if it'll be possible, but I really hope at the end of this fight we can get a, a uh, like, percentage health reading on, on whichever the surviving combatant is, because it's got to be close, right? It already feels very close. Oh. It's I've incredibly close here. Yeah, I feel like uh, Shuang from uh, Avenger Squadron here is feeling a bit threatened by the uh, the way this arrow is playing. He's saying, you blow up the arrow, please, in chat. <laughs> 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 I kid, but like, uh, but yeah, man, this is, this is uh, uh, you know, it's been going. I'm actually, I'm invested now. You know, this has become a feature length fight. Yeah, it definitely has. But like, it's, one of these guys has to win eventually, right? Right? <laughs> Surely. Like, they've been doing damage at least. We know it'll have to end eventually. But, like, it, there was a very real possibility when this start of this 1v1 happened that we were just going to see each competitor take down shields, run away, take down shields, run away. I'm glad yeah. that hasn't happened. So when it comes down to it, like with Star Citizen, with the way you play, it can actually be a very physical game as well because of the fact yeah. that when you choose to use peripherals, you know, things like sticks and that kind of thing, you know, like it does take a lot out of you to like, you know, stay on target using sticks, especially like, you know, the more expensive ones with force feedback and everything else like that. That being said, Dawn Phantom is using a mouse and keyboard, which means that I think that they should be able to go on a bit longer, theoretically. You know, like, whereas Braptor is, you know, like, uh, they're going to be fighting, uh, you know, like, using that armor there is, uh, for quite a while here. That Hornet has taken a lot of damage here. But again, man, that arrow is not looking good. Yeah, 100%. There's always something to be said about, you know, the physicality of these kinds of fights. Because they also don't tend to go on for this long. A lot of these no, fights not are at all. sprint. Not at all. Not an interest. This one's turning out to me, right? <laughs> and what did we say? We said that it, it, it like, this is uh, the arrows. Uh, if the arrow makes any mistakes, they're going to be the one going down first, right? Right. They and if the, the arrow does go down, mistake, then Braptus is moving on into round two. So it's uh, it's basically the ball is in Braptus court here, and they're going to want to try their damn this here to move forwards. That's for sure. <laughs> Some people are calling this a fuel fight. We'll see. <laughs> it might just get there. <laughs> I don't said, even know though, what else yeah. to say about this. We kind of just watch. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, uh, should I go get some popcorn? I think this might be a popcorn fight, guys. You know. <laughs> Look, this Take is a, a three-part movie. <laughs> An episodic thriller. <laughs> also worth noting, guys. Keep in mind the left perspective is delayed by by a fair amount. So, um, if we're if you watch Brack's Raptors perspective, that is pretty much where we're actually at so um look at those shields look at uh look at the health that's where we want to be looking that's right this fight really truly is the embodiment of soon tm 
And uh, the thing is, I mean, like, it's not like nothing has happened, you know? Like, if anything, the tension just keeps building. The ships just get redder. That arrow shields are yep. down. The hull integrity <laughs> is almost nil. Arrow just needs one more bad pass, I think, and they're down. Like, uh, you know, like, yep. that's all it's going to take. Yeah, exactly. But I don't I don't know if, if Cloak and Dagger is going to let that happen. Right? Like, the majority of the damage that we saw, or at least the majority of the red pips, that we saw come up happened maybe five minutes ago. And I, I don't think there's been any more added after that, right? So oh. I think they're playing even safer now. I mean, I just as you said that, they received a bit of a splash there, man. They they, they soaked a couple yep. of shots. I'm surprised it's still up, honestly. But uh, here we go, they're still on it. Oh, just the sustained damage from the arrow able to keep these shields down for such a long period of time any more damage now. coming again, in I, on the hull I, I would love to be a fly on the wall for like uh, just how much damage these ships have taken obviously when physicalized damage comes in all that uh all everything we know about dogfighting and pvp and like uh how uh ships sustain damage is going to change because it's going to go into like a more like a simulated uh, model, but for now, everything has a health pool, and once one specific health pool, like a cockpit goes to zero, that's GG, and soft death. Um, but yeah, I would love to know those figures, those numbers, because right now it's yeah. it's getting up there, man. This is, this a, is just this absolutely is... wild. <laughs> There's a saying, uh, like, uh, oh! in the bro oh, are we there? There we go. <laughs> you don't get my saying, <laughs> the hornet happened. is down. Wait, no, is the Hornet not the down? Hornet. It says Major Torque Imbalance. The Hornet is not down. The arrow is gone, Skis. Oh. It looks like they were able to take it here. We're actually going to get a little bit of a replay here. Watch on Cloak and Dagger's perspective. There we go. There goes the arrow. I almost missed that. That was crazy. Oh, my God. So, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, let's take it back to the desk. Crucian. Okay. Um, My friend. <laughs> Yo, I, man, all I'm going to say here is that I thought that because we put this fight, or I'm sorry, the, you know, the battles in atmosphere, we wouldn't see something go this long. That was a good 15 <laughs> minutes. But overall, I mean, you have to give props to Cloak and Dagger, right? You have to give props to Don Phantom. The only thing he could do versus a Hornet with that much firepower is just try to outmaneuver. But overall, you saw that B-Raptors, was able to get good shots head on. Obviously, the arrow taking that many shots uh, in front of its ship wasn't able to withstand that firepower of the three repeaters putting it out of that fight. It was a long fight, guys, but B-Raptors is moving on to fight Gobby Wobbies, and we're going to start here round number two here.